In this lesson, we're going to learn the shovel block in L stance. And this is another technique that a lot of schools get wrong, so pay particular attention to this video. A lot of schools will teach this as if it was a low double forearm block. In other words, we're familiar with double forearm block. A lot of schools mistakenly, because they're learning from a book, they're learning from pictures only and not from an instructor. They think that this block is a low version of the double forearm block and it's performed down here like this, as if you would be blocking with this blocking surface here. And that's not what you're doing. If you try this movement, you'll feel right away that the arm doesn't move this direction. That's not what's happening here. If you need to protect down low, you would simply use a low block. Or in L stance, knife hand low guarding block would protect you from those types of attacks. So that's that's not what's happening here. So you need to or excuse me, or reverse knife hand low block would protect you in that case. That's not what's happening with this block. Shovel block, as the name implies, the motion is similar to as if you were pushing a shovel, right? The motion is similar to what you would do if you were pushing a shovel. That's why it gets the name shovel block. And this is another one of the techniques in Taekwondo where the block itself is an attack. So what you are doing, so now that you know what not to do with this technique, I, I wanna get that off the table right off the bat. So you're not doing this technique wrong. The final hand position looks like this. So it's very, very similar. You can see how students might confuse it with this and start to go astray because this can easily start to look like this and then it starts to look like this, and then it starts to look like this, and the next thing you know, students think that they're just doing the low version of that block. No. And looking from the side, if you want to see what I'm talking about, again, the final hand position looks like this for shovel block. And if you start to go astray, you can see how students start to make, you know, a different technique out of it. That's not what it is. This technique, when I say that the block itself is actually a strike, what I mean is that this hand, the lead hand, is actually performing a back fist front strike down low. So if you want to call this a back fist downward strike, there is back fist downward strike. That's what this is. This hand is doing a back fist and this hand is actually doing an upset punch down low. So whereas a regular upset punch would be here, you're doing a low upset punch. And both hands move simultaneously. So both hands start up high like this, in the same position as if you were doing a forearm guarding block. And then when you bring them down, this hand comes down like this, and this hand comes down like this. And there is shovel block. If somebody is attacking you, let's say, you know, side kick or front kick, what you're doing with this block is attacking the attacking limb. So when they go to attack you, you're meeting their attack with a strike of your own, with both hands simultaneously. So you are punching and striking their leg with this block. So it's a block, but it's a block that is a strike, where you're striking the attacking limb. And we've seen that before with some of our other techniques where if you're doing a knife hand low block, you're not just blocking, you're also blocking and trying to strike with the knife hand and do damage. This is kind of taking it next level, if you will. I mean, this is blue belt. This is a next level technique where you strike 
So this hand is coming down, back fist, this hand turning over, upset punch. That is shovel block. So here from this side, same thing, back fist and upset punch. We don't often practice on this side. In the pattern, it only appears the other way. But as part of the foundation movements, you're going to get to do it on both sides. So very important. So looking once again, shovel block. Okay. Side, side view. That is shovel block. So practicing by count. So from L stance, remember we're in L stance. Shovel block in L stance. 